Now Wilson Oma Opondo, you can say that again with me, but I know some of you are wondering who the hell is that. Now, those are the official names to the one and only Willie Pose. And that's not the story. The story is the Negro has just taken the second action against Miss P ever since she came to and exposed him, bro, you know, as having sexually assaulted her. Now, you guys can remember the first action that Willie Pose took against Miss P was going ahead to deactivate her Instagram page and that was after she came to and revealed that she has never managed nor had access to that account bro but all along well fans have been out here thinking that she was the one who was managing it and probably after Will Pose realized that this lady had let the cat out of the bag that is when he went ahead and deactivated it but guess what Will Pose as I said has just taken the second action against Miss P and that is going ahead to sue her defamation bro now according to will pose through his instagram page he came to and said that whatever this lady said in an interview with presenter ali was just a made-up story going ahead to add that well this lady is deeply in love with him and they had moments but after noticing that she was not getting the attention and love from Willy Pose, you know, the way she expected. That is when she ran to present Ali and presented that made-up story. That is according to Willy Pose, bro. Now, Willy Pose, through his Instagram page, went ahead and posted that letter right there, which of course was written by his lawyers, and the reference was defamatory statement said, published, and spread against our client, Wilson Ouma Opondo, aka Willy Paul, and I won't read everything that is written there but if I may read the last part which contains the demands and instructions to Miss P. Now Will Pose through his lawyers went ahead and said this and I quote, we are in the premises instructed to demand from you which we hereby do that you immediately cease and desist from making a false accusation against our client and in any event not later than three days from the date of this letter retract the false statement and offer a public and qualified and an equivocal apology by way of advertisement after which we shall contact you for negotiations on quantum for damages bro wow lawyers with terms but basically they came to and said that this lady miss p should come out and apologize and cease from making false statement against will pose bro wow was good now will pose posted that letter which which of course he wrote through his lawyers and he went ahead to caption this and I quote, I've seen and heard all that has been happening for the past few days on social media about a lady claiming to have been sexually assaulted by me. I'd like to let everyone know that this is a made up story. This is a lady who is deeply in love with me and is acting out of anger. We had our moments but when she realized that I could not give back the same love she made up a story that has really done a lot of damage to my good and clean brand. My lawyers are working on the keys and very soon the truth will come out. Yeah, that is what Will Pose went ahead and said. Of course, after posting that letter which he wrote through his lawyers. So, what's up in the next coming days, bro? Well, we'll have to wait and see. Number one, whether Miss P will come through and apologize to Will Pose. And alongside with that, if she does not, well, we'll be out here eagerly waiting to see what will happen, bro. But some of you are already saying that this is clout. But however, some are saying this is serious. Now, which side do you fall on, bro? You can go ahead and tell us. Do you think this is clout or this is real shit? Well, go ahead and tell us what you think down in the comment section. Subscribe if you haven't followed me on Instagram. Blizzka.ke and I'll see you guys in the next one.